All right, the last few days, I feel like we've experienced some real amateur hour attempt at video games, but Accolade, that's a real company, right? 992? Wait, I had this set at 1993. Well, you know what? Maybe it's earlier? I don't know. Hey there, everyone, this is Alcow. As soon as I announced all the Not Sonic, people were already like talking mine, all about Bubsy, and I'm just starting? Don't you have like a menu? Alright, so you have jump, and you have glide, which jumps to less high, but you can glide from a normal jump. And other button is jump, and other button is glide. <laughs> okay! All right, so Bubsy, 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 Bobcat. Why was I moving? There's some weird momentum stuff going on there. All right, got night lives. There I was trying to glide. I was pressing the wrong button. I don't know what's your deal. I got exclamation mark meter. I got this yarn. There's like a force pushing me to the other side there. Weird. Okay, well, maybe I'm just misunderstanding things. All right, so... I played this before. I remember renting this game as a young'un and more or less enjoying myself. Uh, there's something real weird though. I think that's a midpoint. That's a banana peel and I think it's an obstacle. You know, as you do. And then you can start gliding and you can just like go somewhere and I was like, whoa! I'm surprised. I'm like, I think that in the air, you're still affected by, like, the the physics of the hit, like, diagonals underneath you. No! It's because they blow! When they go, like, at you like that, like, that is supposed to be meaningful. Okay. I'm glad that I was immediately ready to blame weird physics and not just trust the game. It's <laughs> just immediately jumping to the absolute worst conclusion. Uh, hey, there's a shirt, and there's a bird. Uh, check out, uh, eyeball. Yeah, okay, you can jump. Whoa, mode seven. I don't know how this looks like in a Genesis version. I'm playing the Super Nintendo, because Genesis got Sonic. Genesis does need more Sonic. What are you talking about? That is so wild. What's with that two shirt? All right. Midpoint, then blow up a little bit, then just kind of glide forward for a bit. Look at that tree, it's showing me leaves! Oh man, that's bird, it just threw up an egg, that's not where eggs come from, my friend. So just skip all the level design! Look at that, it's Bubsy's face on a circle! Incredible. The worst part is, I would be absolutely willing to do an actual LV of Bubsy games. This first level was... I, don't like hikes. I honestly, no jokes, this has been by far, of all the not Sonics after yet, the best playing game. Like, on several margins. It is just like, oh shoot, okay, I'm still alive. It's all good. Look at that. Someone put all their yarn behind that waterfall. How did that even happen? I don't know what wa the yarns do. Like, I got over a hundred. I, th I might have had one up, because I start with nine. I got that one shirt. Their arrow wants me to get down, so I guess I'm going to do that. <laughs> all right, go. My name is Bubsy, I'm a bobcat, and I'm full of frenzy. Why did I was pushed so violently? Speed running, and then you get run over by a car. No, that's not a car. That's a piano. It's just rolling down the hill, as a piano is wont to do. So I don't know if you've noticed something, and that's basically the number one crime that Bubsy Bobcat by Accolade does. I've got all these ring adjacent items, right? But it does not matter. In this game, you are forever a one-hit wonder. No health, no dreams, no chances. And as you can see, the game can get, like, stupidly fast. And then you melt in a puddle and doesn't doesn't even conform to the shape of the landmass. Like talk about a bad physics engine. I seem to every enemy that I've killed 
seem to have stayed died though. And every yarn that I have collected seems to have stayed collected. And uh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's funny. That's cute. That's that's cute. There's no way around that. Like the birds are real. And, you know, you want to eat them because he's a predator. Obligate carnivore, Bubsy Bobcat. Think about that. <laughs> Why? S scrolling is really weird in the background. That just seems to be a thing. Ooh, dynamic music. Yeah, whatever, Banjo Kazooie. Have you ever heard of Bubsy Bobcat? <laughs> this is neat! Alright, and there's logs, and you're just collecting these things that feel super meaningless. Yeah, I'm not getting one up. Maybe you get a one up on world completion? Yeah, that just never feels great. Can I just walk through here? Like, where am I? I just saw a pushing animation. I'm not saying I can push that wall, but I'm saying that at some point, we might have to push a thing. Alright, I don't, I don't know, man. Well, here we go. I guess maybe I want to go down. Nope. You can't swim. Look at that. He counted to three on I I don't his like fingers. Hiding. Stage is like huge. I feel like I'm constantly in, in completely different areas. You know, my life is still at nine. No, because I just got that shirt with a one printed on it. Yeah, that's how lives are. See, like, look how immediately super fast Bubsy wants to go. But you die in one shot, so like you don't want to go fast. Uh, please go at moderate speed, Bubsy. You don't have to run away from all your problems. There was a midpoint here all this time. Well, you know what they say about midpoints. They are scarcely in the middle. That's an anvil. Oh, you were all wet. Big ol' wet kitty. Then I'm gonna glide and go to Serengeti. Everything is bouncing forever. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That I'm all well, oh man, I'm made an accordion Did sound. I I don't like heights. You have mentioned it at least once before. Alright. Well I I feel like the sonic adage of stick to the height seems like a good idea. Because, you know, that means that if the fall from the slippery controls, you still have a place to land. Why is that one shining? Does the color of the various yarn I've been collecting had it mattered at all? All this time? I mean, maybe. Like, I just don't know. Here we go. It's the level! I did it! Your paws are huge. Like your leg paws? But your hand paws are tiny. You would have trouble running in the plains from Predator or After Prey, Bubsy. Whoa, press any button. I too short. Oh, see, you read the title, then you made a commentary. Alright, Bubsy, here we go uh, in the wild. We're gonna go on this hill, and I don't know why. Some of these branches are springboard. So, it's important to glide, because I just know this, because I know this. This is a, pla a Sonic-style platformer with fall damage. <laughs> so now what Sonic was missing is the th impeding threat of death at every moment. I mean, honestly, Classic Sonic had impeding threats of death all the time. It's not something that needed to be added. I don't know if this is kill water underneath me, but I am assuming as such. Because I don't know, like, it could be in the foreground, I'm just bad at reading it. It's like, it's not impossible. Just kind of going, huh? Right, right in the deep. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought was going to happen. More like a bridge too short. More like a bridge... face. Uh, let's see. I'm... You can just go ahead and call me Bubsy too. Uh, alright. I want to go on that platform so I can go on this grassy hill. Then I'm gonna be somewhere I don't know and land somewhere I don't understand for sure. Then we're just kind of here. Then we're gonna go again, like like what I said in Super Patio. Oh man, really? Oh, see, I thought I would interact with the land there. Like I need to make a actual effort to play good, you know. So if I see a one up, then I know I can get with confidence. I get it. I'm trying to play the game for real. I mean, I'm being a bit far and loose, maybe a little bit, but it just feels to be in the spirit of this game. This oh eggs. Alright, and I destroyed your egg catch, so what are you gonna do about that, Wooly from Two Best Friends? Um, alright, well, this is just kinda happening. Ran to the back of a car. Instant death. 
All right, that's cool. We're gonna start editing, I think. Oh, press down. That's a cute duck. Quack. Uh, th there we go. There we go. So this time I landed here. I managed to get the midpoint, so I can go to. Whoa, yeah. One. Whoa. You can't. You can't. Whoa. Black shirt. Okay. Sure. I don't know what's up with that car. All right. Welcome to the town. I, I don't want to get. What? Ah! We. Oh, okay. Wheel of cheese. And that guy's so mad because his wheel of cheese escaped his grasp. And then I landed on the screen and immediately got hit by a projectile. I had whole frames to react. I feel like the punishment is justifiable. Here you go, top route. Do I gain anything? I get top route. Like, that is a prize in itself. The water is completely illogical, by the way. Oh, the music just doesn't get. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm kind of surprised. I'm gonna destroy you with my eyes. The killer eyeballs of a bobcat. That's right. There's just boxes everywhere. So yeah, they're, they're like the TV screens, except now they're just crates. Uh, who cares about crates? Amazon? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Robotnik? Except there's two of you! Oh, we can press it up. Uh, no, yeah, that is just... Okay. So... And you got a little guy that pops out, and then uh, you jump on it, and it blows up. Okay, you gotta wait for Robotnik to show up, though. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. No, um... I can safely say, with extreme confidence, this has been, by far, the absolute best experience I've had in the last few days in this time slot. Bubsy is... Set your expectations accordingly, and Bubsy is outright, downright, gosh darn right, fantastic. I mean, of course, this is World 1. Like, we already saw how deadly World 1 is. I'm assuming the game just gets harder, and you get, like, less lives. But, I mean, if you get passwords, password every three world, uh, that makes sense.